your previous schedule on defense? That's that's hard to compare. You know, in yeah, there's a mixture of some Valley teams, but it's it's that's a, that's a tough one to compare. Great. You played a triple option team last week. This team's a little different. Um, what, give me a sense of a gamut of facing such two different offenses yeah. in yeah, one it, week. One thing is you don't even grade that game from from Saturday. You just flush it and move on, and we'll look at it in the off season. Uh, and now you, you know, some of our individual periods that we have before we get to our team period, we're actually going to work on a pass rush now, which we didn't work any pass rush. We're going to work some man coverage, and we're going to work some. You know, we didn't even have a seven on seven period last week. Everything was was team, and you work a lot of cut blocks and things. So it, it is, you know, retraining and refocusing the guys of this is a different game plan now. Uh, you, you like the fact that this is more similar to the style that we've faced all year as opposed to what we had against uh, uh, Wofford. So, uh, yeah, you, you have to retrain the guys a little bit, but we have a lot of veteran guys that uh, know that it's going to come down to us controlling the line of scrimmage on defense and being able to rush the passer so that we can maybe get him into some early throws. And then we have to do a great job in the secondary of playing some 50-50 balls. Chris, how does graduation come into play this week? And do you know off the top of your head how many you have walking? Uh, I think there's 12 or 14 this week, somewhere in there. Uh, in that vicinity, uh, it's great. And we, I, this is the fourth year that I've been a part of it, and I'll get a chance to attend graduation with those guys. Our, our President Bashani, our university, does a phenomenal job of fitting our guys into the earlier time slot so that uh, those guys are able to go uh, early afternoon. Um, Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you're able to walk and get your get your degree, uh, and then right after that, you're coming over to the walkthrough, and then right from there, you go to pregame meal. Our our biggest concern is Coach Kramer making sure that those kids don't go out to eat with their folks and and stuff themselves at noon or something, uh, and then and then uh, be lethargic uh, because it is such a great day for those guys that they've worked so hard, and in some of them four and a half years, and in some case three and a half years, getting a degree. Uh, and then playing a football game that same day. But something that we're fortunate we've been able in, – we've been in this position so often we've been able to manage. In a related note, how about recruiting? Have you guys been able to get some recruiting done during this time? Well, we're doing it on a daily basis, but we're not out in, in a, on a daily basis in, in front of these guys. But we've done a great job, I think, continuing to build relationships uh, from what we had, in the, especially in the summer with the amount of commitments that we did receive – uh, you're right. I mean, a week from Wednesday, we're going to have a signing date. And, uh, um, you know, for us, playing the Friday night game it has value because we will be able to get out on Saturday. Uh, won't be able to get to everybody, but we'll be able to get to uh, a decent amount of guys um, uh, just to say hello more than anything. And, and uh, But it's it's a challenge. And this is the first year of that challenge that we're all kind of finding out about. It doesn't matter if you're playing in a bowl game. Uh, in FBS or playing in the playoffs. It's it's a new challenge for all of us. Are you expecting to sign some players on the 20th? You bet. Yeah. What do you anticipate it will be like next week? If you play, you still got to get ready for that and then also have a major day out next Wednesday. Be busy. Yeah. Uh, it will be – once again, we're all in uncharted territory on this thing. So, uh, you know, we, we would kind of block off that day to be part of recruiting and, and then the other stuff we'll get to. But uh, – um, you know, luckily we don't. It's not the championship game. Wouldn't be on whatever the twenty third or something. There's there's three weeks in between there. But uh, it's Hank Jacobs does a great job right now of doing a lot of things uh, through social media, and then obviously all of the coaches continuing to contact guys um, and, and keeping those guys uh, in the loop on things, as well as you know, a lot of those guys communicating with each other. I wanted to ask you about. Oh, ahead, Easton Stick is one of those guys graduating this week. Can you just talk about what he's been able to accomplish along with his degree <laughs> and being your starting quarterback and, and everything he takes on as the leader of your team? Yeah, uh, that's a remarkable three and a half years. He's getting his degree. Uh, he's going to go right into the NBA program. Excited for Easton. Uh, playing at a really high level. Uh, leading at a higher level uh, as far as what he's done and what he's meant to our football team. What he's done off the field and community service. All the things. Um, he's just... He's really locked in in everything he's doing, and, and you have to be to get your degree in three and a half years as well as to play at the level he's played at uh, and to do the things he's done in preparation uh, on a weekly basis or a daily basis. Can't be happier uh, for Easton. Uh, just uh, a, a great leader and a great football player. Can I ask you about Connor Wentz? Yeah. Is there any comparison to his cousin? Are they totally different in a lot of ways? Oh, there, there's... 
there's some similarities in personality. Uh, they both uh, always have a smile on their face and, and both uh, uh, eager to, to learn, eager to practice, and both love to compete. That's, that's the thing that I see about both of them. They obviously play different positions and different skill sets, but uh, they, they both love to compete. And they both are, are an absolute blast to be around and uh, both been really productive playmakers for us. How do you think he's handled? I mean, Carson's had all the attention, and he hasn't. He lo- he doesn't mind it at all. He kind of chuckles about it and about being the other wins and stuff. But uh, uh, he's handled that stuff really, really well. And I think he's had a phenomenal senior season and, and so well deserving uh, to be able to be first team all conference this year. Curtis, what does it say about the Valley again to have two teams in the Final Four? Uh, it's our league's really strong, and uh, you know we were happy that we were people on different sides of the bracket and. Um, for us to get to two of the two of the last four uh, to this point uh, speaks volume of of uh, how good a football this is. And winning home, winning away, winning some of those different matchups with different leagues it's uh, it's great to see. Hey, I want to ask you about Graham Morgan, what he's going through. He's obviously going to walk on Friday. Potential that he may be a dad sometime mm-hmm. this week. What is how has he handled everything and also still contribute to your football team? He's been great, and uh, I talk to him kind of each week. Where are we at with this? And then. And of course, he's an expert. Says, "Well, I think we'll be a week away, or it could be any day." And I said, "Well, it's not really up to to us, Grant." And uh, but he's ready. He's ready for for uh, that and being a dad, and he's so excited. Uh, we're really happy for Morgan, and and uh, whenever that happens, he'll be there. And um, uh, he'll he's graduating. He's he's got a job lined up. Uh, he's been so instrumental to our football team. Uh, he's been one of the leaders of our FCA, Fellowship Christian Athletes, with our guys. Um, an unbelievable leader and an unbelievable mentor he's been to a lot of younger players on this team. Did you see Kyle's pick yesterday? I saw a highlight of it, uh, which was good to see, and, and uh, have him with the ball in his hands. Uh, Mine of his days back in high school. But, uh, no, it's great to see all those guys uh, uh, doing so well and um, it's it's fun when you when you get all the the pro buys and updates and uh, we, we've got a lot of great things going on. Do you imagine for next week that there's a lot of coaches here and your brethren that are saying we have no idea what's going to happen if they're preparing for a bowl game or still in a playoff run that this could be really wild next it, week? It will be wild. I, I really believe that and and uh, we're confident. And we're we're hopeful that uh, we'll sign an awful lot of guys just like probably everybody else is as well, but uh, it is. It, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what's what transpires after that date. What what does January become? Does that become junior recruiting or does it become fill the rest of your class or does it become boy you have to still get a majority of your class? All those things that uh, uh, we're finding out more and more. The hard thing was there wasn't that official visit period in the spring summer that will be coming up uh, next year.